Holly. And this is my little brother Albie and his friends, Oscar, Errol and Dwight. And this is the Dinosaur Coast. Come on boys, let's go. brother and his friends love dinosaurs. Sometimes that's all they ever talk about. They got dinosaur toys, they got dinosaur books, they got dinosaur movies, they got dinosaur bags, they got dinosaur puzzles, and they even have dinosaur jocks. <laughs> this area around Broome is called the Dinosaur Coast because scientists have found more types of dinosaur tracks here than anywhere else in the world. You can literally walk in the footsteps of dinosaurs. We even have the biggest dinosaur footprint that's ever been found. It's 1.7 meters long. That's bigger than Caleb Daniels. Who's Caleb Daniels? No mommy, he plays with the Bulldogs. Look boys! Here's some tracks of one of those long neck things. They're called sawpods, Molly. They eat plants. Whatever. Today we are meeting up with some people who love dinosaurs just as much as my little brother. They look after the trackways all around the room. Hi Michelle, what type of tracks are these? These are theropods. They're a carnivore. They eat meat. And like your dinosaur, they walk on their hind feet. So they're a bit smaller than a T-Rex, but pretty fierce. What other types of dinosaurs used to live around here? Well, the other type of dinosaurs here especially are the sauropods, the big round printed ones like dinner plates. And it's the only place in Australia that you can actually find sauropod tracks. How long ago were they actually walking around here? They were here around 130 million years ago. It's a lot longer than I can ever imagine. Back then, Australia used to be part of a supercontinent called Gondwana, which included South America, Africa and India. This would have been a vast floodplain bordered by thick forest. And when the dinosaurs roamed across it looking for food, they left deep imprints that were then covered by sand and preserved over time. We're so lucky that we actually get to see these footprints. Yes, 130 million years ago and they come out from underneath the sand every now and again but we have to be very careful and look after them so future generations can enjoy them.